just about 2.45 With my sidewalk Sunday strawberry surprise I got a cherry popsicle And right on time I got a big stick of mama that would blow your mind Cause I'm your ice cream man My name is Harold Goldner And I'm an ice cream man You've probably noticed by now that unlike most of my colleagues and competitors in the business, I do not have an ice cream truck. But listen, before you start to feel sorry for me or anything like that, I should tell you that I chose to sell my truck. For my girlfriend. We've been together for two years now, and I've never been so happy in my entire fucking life. Uh, well, I was in my truck, you know, doing my, my regular route. And, the, you know, this, this cute chick with a little muffin top comes up to the truck, you know, asks me for a screwball. And I was like, yeah, babe, you know, I, I threw a little Harold Golden Charm in there. And I was like, yeah, babe, I'll, I'll give you a screwball, you know, and that was it. Right there in the, in the, in the back of the freezer, you know. But, uh... You know, since then, that little muffin top has kind of turned into a short stack of pancakes. I never like to wait for my last cigarette. I always smoke my last two at the same time. That's good. On with an upward, you know? Back then, you know, it was very violent, very sexual. I mean, it was cold, so we had to, you know, you know, bang, bang, bang. But uh, now I, it's kind of like uh, I'm a kid again. And uh, I'm at a birthday party. And I got my own private bouncy castle, you know? I mean, the sex is excellent now. We got a new special on the menu called the Chocolate Rain. I buy all my shit for it over here. Can I get some uh, Marlboros and Dixie Cups, please? I'm very well liked in town, so I can get my ice for free up here. Just one of the perks I get, you know? Sell some fucking ice cream, yeah? There we go. Oh, beautiful. <coughs> oh, I'm gonna leave that cigarette. Ice cream, ice cream. For the bikers. Tough fucking crowd today, man. How you doing, my friend? Can I interest you in a chocolate rain? Chocolate rain? No? I'm making one real quick. There you go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Seven dollars, please. Seven dollars, please. All right, I'm gonna have to eat this myself. 
Enjoy. Fucking uniform. I cannot walk on that side of the street. How are you doing, folks? We're good. How are you? How's everyone? Ice cream today? Anyone? Yeah, sure. Beautiful. What flavor? I, uh, I had to get creative and start making my own ice cream at home. Well, I actually don't have any of the advertised ice creams right now. Okay. What we do have is the chocolate rain. Okay. Now, the chocolate rain is you take ice cubes and a Dixie cup, and then you put the ice cubes in the Dixie cup, and then you sprinkle some Hershey's chocolate syrup over that. Yeah. And that's gonna cost you okay. like seven dollars. Whoa. Whoa! I don't know, I just, like, you'd think, you know, an ice cream man, he's gotta love kids. Number one, I found that most of the ice cream men I've met that say they like kids are now in jail. Um, and to be honest, I'm, I'm freaked out by, by the size. All right, kids. The hair will golden especially day. Don't smoke. None of you smoke, okay? Remember that. Don't do drugs, don't smoke. Uh, and uh, pay your taxes. Here we go. Chocolate rain for everyone. Here we go. Oh, you're making it? Oh, making it right on the spot, my friend. There we go. Chocolate rain. Who wants the first one? There we go, there we go. Chocolate rain. To Rick James over here. I'm not gonna give you my cigarette, there you go. Chocolate, ice cubes. We call this the R. Kelly. Now I'm gonna need $7 from each of you. What? $7, please. Huh? I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's say, we're making it rain. Making it rain! Let's make it rain. Let's make it rain! Make it rain. All right. Can you understand why I'm not fond of children. I feel the same way about cigarettes as I do about ice cream. It's like maybe it's not the best thing for you, for your health, but ice cream makes people happy and cigarettes make me happy. So I don't see anything wrong with it. You know, smoking, I, you know, I drink a little bit on the job too. I don't see anything wrong with that. It makes me happy. How you doing my friend? May I please have one screwball? One cherry screwball, please. How's she running, huh? Ah. I wanted to be an ice cream man ever since I was a little kid. Uh, since my first ice cream cone, you know? I remember I went home, I ran home, and I told my parents, and my brother and my sister, and they laughed at me. You know, I, I, I told them, I'm gonna be something someday. I'm gonna be an ice cream man. And they said, Harry, you know, you know ice cream man. You're a fucking hot dog guy. You're, they call me a hot dog guy. And I cried my eyes out, you know. Nobody wants to be a hot dog guy. Someone once said, 80% of life is just showing up. But I think it's more like 100%. Because that's all I do. Every day, I just show up. To tell you the truth, it doesn't matter if I've got an ice cream truck. I still get to smoke and drink at work. And I got a beautiful, super-sized girlfriend to come home to every day. 
And I'm gonna get her what she needs, no matter what. Because I love her. So you can be sure of this. You haven't heard the last of Harold Goldman. The Ice Cream Man. What you love?